Okay, a video about uh, peeves, I guess. You know, some people can't handle poop. Some people can't handle vomit. Some people can't handle phlegm, blood, gore, you know, um, body odor. Uh, there were some other things I've, I've come across that people have had peeves about. Um, skin, you know, skin dermatitis or skin afflictions, pus, organs, uh, sweat. Who is probably the most popular or the most prevalent. A lot of people don't want to get into nursing or even nurses. See, I mean, and this is why I'm making the video is that some people have peace. Some nurses, excuse me, have peace and they just can't deal with it. I, you know, my, um, my sister unit, who I'm mostly trained on, is a pulmonary unit. So I'm neuro and pulmonary, right? Some people can't handle crazies. That's a P for theirs. And they're on the neuro unit. And I'm like, dude, you're on the wrong unit. <laughs> you got to be able to handle these crazies. And I, I, I say that in all, you know, uh, lightheartedness, you know, um, they're, they're demented patients or their traumatic brain injuries or strokes. I mean, they're not within their right mind. Like I, I think I said in another video, um, you know, I, I excuse that behavior. When they're not in their right mind, they're not in their right mind. Grand, you know, grand, grandma is, is totally out of it. And she's talking in a demon voice and trying to kill you, trying to scratch you, kind of, you know, embed her C. diff encrusted nails into your bloodstream. She's not with it. You know, that's not her speaking. It's whatever syndrome, illness, affliction, Ill, you know, injury is talking. It's not her. I, and many a times, I, you know, taking care of them, they recovered, and they're the sweetest person. And they would be traumatized if you showed them a video, let's say, of them in that. Because they're like the sweetest thing. And, you know, you know they're like, they came and speak in that voice, that tone. You know that that baritone, that demon voice. Any, really, it's it's not them. So I don't take it personally when they act that way. It's the ones that are with it that act assholey. That you know, that's you know, that's their baseline. That you're a jerk in real life. That's when I'm like, mm. I still treat them fine, but in my mind, I have that bias then. The other people, I don't have bias against them. And I, 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 I try it and not let it into my practice, obviously, either way. But, you know, I don't judge those people. I do judge the others. I'm sorry, I'm judging. But you don't let it ever affect how you treat the patient, ever. You know, you, you take a step back. And that, I, for me, I do compartmentalize a lot of my life. Maybe I'm psychotic. But it was a, a, a early thing I had in my... Uh, first marriage that my my therapist it was court order taught me just compartmentalize it tuck it away don't let it spread out into your entire life don't let the anger overwhelm you and I said okay and I guess I took it to heart and really did it and I'm able to compartmentalize it you know and uh, I've always I think I've always been able to because that's how I I, I, I that's why I lifted that's why I, I did weight training in that sense, I use that as my uh, release for football. I did that. I mean, I love football because I got to hit somebody legally and hit them as hard as I could. And that was <laughs> a bit uh, stress relieving, you know. So <laughs> in that sense, uh, it was very therapeutic, even though I wasn't very good at it. So uh, I'm sorry for the air conditioning. I just realized I was on again. Um, the... But as going back to the topic of this video, peeves, a lot of people think, oh, I, I can't handle this or I can't handle that. I can't have poop or vomit or whatever. I can't be a nurse. Bullshit. I've, like I said, in the pulmonary unit, I was about to say, I, I'm, I'm trained on the pulmonary unit and I've, I've come across other nurses that almost fainted from the sight of phlegm. A pulmonary unit, your it's lungs. You're you see that 
every day. I mean, it's you have to suction it. So I don't know. How, and they're not like newbie nurses. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I mean, I've had a call. I had a catch. And I, I, I'm very proud of myself because of the reflexes. <laughs> it's like Batman reflexes. They coughed it out of their trach. I mean, it was just a a, a bullet, a cannonball of a phlegm. I don't know why. I, I could have just let it hit the wall. I just grabbed it. <laughs> and it was like my hands. The other day I had a, uh, it was an RRT that I have. I had on a uh, patient that was seizing. And the doctor and the CCRN that was responding to the code where we talk whatever he was he was coughing up and, and and you know and he had to cough up something I forgot what it was like that and, and, and then couldn't find p tissue so I just stuck out my gloved hand because it just coughed in my hand and it right into it in the corner of my eye I could see like the CCRN was like <laughs> I'm like come on and the doctor was just like, oh, like that. They were just like running for the hills, both of them. They're like, oh. I was like, I, I thought first they were afraid he was gonna bite my finger or something, bite my finger off. But I was, I was paying more attention to that, you know, because um, when he could be seizing and not do it intentionally, or he he was a rather aggressive patient, um, very aggressive patient actually, and just do it out of spite or anger. So be. Be mindful of your safety. But I was like, oh, you guys are grossed out by that, you know? Same night, you know, I was, I was a little surprised. But CCRNs are used to doing um, ICU patients. I mean, they were completely out. They're not They're not even talking. So maybe that's why, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. I mean, she's probably forgotten more than I know in my entirety as a nurse. So I'm, I'm not saying I'm a better nurse or anything like that. I'm just saying they may not be used to it. Just like I'm not used to orthopedics. So I don't know, hey, you know, whatever spinal injury. I am somewhat familiar, but I'm just saying, you know, example, you know, maybe I, like, like I'm not familiar with orthopedics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Same night, I was helping train a nursing tech. It was, it was actually a tech, her, her trainer was actually one of my old trainers. And I, I, I love working with her. She's very diligent, she's very, um, not abrasive, abrasive, but a little lack of social filter, but she's so sweet. I, I take, I take her abuse per se, you know, like she, she knows enough. She has a filter. She just knows she could talk to me that way. Um, other nurses, she, I, I see her walk around eggshells for certain ones, and you know they're like, she's like, no, no, I can't talk to this one this way. And, Ray, I don't give a crap. Blah, 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 blah. She was bossing me around, and I could see the look on the on the trainee's face. She was, just, her eyes were like, feared, and I was like, no, 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 no. She's, you know, the 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 the, the trainer. I was like, she could talk to me. That's just right. She, she, I, I love her. She's great. She's, she's teaching me also. Although I just actually taught her at competency. She was just teaching back. It's funny, but. The point of the, the encounter was the trainee was asking me because we were cleaning up the patient. There was a pressure injury and it wasn't a bad one. Stage two, maybe, you know, I, I've seen stage threes and unstageables where I could probably reach my hand up to the middle of my forearm. And, you know, before I was in healthcare, I would have thought someone died from an injury like that, from a, a wound of that nature. I mean, that's, you know, there's a cup. I mean, you, two cups into the person's body is a gaping cavity is a, uh, a cave and they're fine they're with it you know i mean the first time i saw that i i almost fainted from just like oh my god the trauma of that it wasn't the gore of it it was just oh my god how do you how are you still breathing <laughs> that kind of thing right so um i'm watching an almost accident occur in front of me i'm sorry it just distracted me i'm just like people drive like crap i'm in a home depot parking lot <laughs> it's just it's just i'm sorry it's just distracted adhd definitely um so we're cleaning the patient up it was a pressure injury significant amount of poopy whatever he's screaming not a very compliant patient and i, ha I he actually fired me but then the wife the patient's wife said 
Oh, no. He doesn't know yet. You, I want you taking care of him. I don't want anyone. <laughs> she liked me. She's like, no, 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 no. I like how you deal with him because in his lucid moments, he does like me, but he's not always there. And she was absolutely not. No, he doesn't have the right to fire you. No, 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 no. You're going to take care of him. <laughs> I was like, thank you. I just wanted to make sure I have actual permission, you know, legally. I'm sorry. I'm going to wind this video up. I that, just let me finish this one story. So she was asked, the, the trainee tech was asking me, she's like, what bothers you, right? And I'm like, what? I'm real, little in the middle of this, the other tech's like this. We're like, I'm like, what? She, and she's standing above us. She, she's learning. She's, she's tech. She's a little training. She's like a little hesitant to get into it. She's like, what bothers you? I don't see anything bother you. And I'm like, oh, I've had six kids. I don't care. <laughs> this stuff, nothing, you know. I see proj projectile vomiting and then projectile poop. That doesn't bother me. This does this nothing. The wound bothered me a little bit. I was like, nah, I just, I'm used to that stuff. She's like, what bothers you? And I told her, I was like, oh, bugs bother me. Spiders, cockroaches, stuff like that. Uh, insects is my pee. So every, my point of the video is everybody has a peeve. It's just a question of overcoming your peeve, um, dealing with it, working with it, or, you know, like, like I said, the, the other nurse on the other floor, the pulmonary floor, that didn't deal with phlegm very well, usually tried to get someone to help her suction or something like that nature, or just kind of dealt with it, you know. But everybody, you know, on a pulmonary floor, she has a phlegm peeve. You know, on the med search floor, you have a poop pee. And a lot of nurses have poop peeves. Vomit peeves. It's not an a, obstacle that you can't overcome. Or it's not even an obstacle. If you can't overcome it, it stops you from being a nurse, is my point. All my videos are encouraging you guys to become nurses. Do it. Don't, don't think, I can't do it because of this. Get it out of the way. Because once you get through the, the, the schooling and whatever... My, my daughter's like, I'm going to be a behind-the-desk nurse. I said, great. doesn't matter. It's fine. If you can get that job, you can do whatever. You can do it. There are, there are nurses that never deal with patients. Like I said, where you're PACU or you're, you're ICU and, and the person's sedated. Don't worry about it. You know? So that's why I, I, I'm recording this long video. I didn't realize this, but I have always stories, these dad stories to give you guys and nursing stories. Um, but it's to encourage you guys to continue and, and become the nurse I, you know, you want to be and, uh, don't worry about peeves and whatever these things. Ah, oh, I can't be, a nurse. no, no, you can, you can be a nurse. Like I said, I have, peeve. I peeve against bugs, you know, maybe mice or something like that. You know, although I, I love animals and whatever, but if it's a wild mouse, you, you hear me screaming like a girl. They're like, was that, you know, was that Jennifer? No, that was Ray. I was Ray over <laughs> screaming like a teenage girl. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> if it's a spider, you definitely will hear me screech. And, and, you know, but I have to put on uh, a brave face like yesterday for my daughter. I was like, no, I'll kill it. <laughs> kill it. <laughs> so don't worry. These are things that are not real obstacles. It's the bullshit the classroom. Bullshit. I, I will. I won't hedge around it. I will tell you guys straight up. That's the bullshit that you really got. Not worry about, but that's the thing you deal with. But once you deal with it, it's done. You don't get that continuously. You're not going to be test retested like that. It'll be. It'll be like taking a test to be a parent. Okay, fine. You pass it. You got your, your license. Your parenting or whatever. Do you get retested as a parent? You get tested every day as a parent. But. <laughs> You're your own grader, you know, you just got to pass it and just go move on and take care of the kids as best you can. But like I always say, uh, parenting is a, a great, great training, pre-training for being a nursing because that's what we do. We take care of our patients that way, in my opinion. That's how I approach it. All right. Good luck.